you. What's the deal? It's time to get real with your higher It's time to get real with your higher YouTube. What's the deal? YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl, Jahira, and I am back. Hey, y'all. I wanted to come in, well, I initially wanted to come in with a whole lot of fanfare and completely <laughs> done up and give you my last video of 2011. How odd does that sound? But um, God had a plan for me greater than the one I had for myself. Because the day after Christmas, I got sick. I got horribly sick. I have a history of, like, gastrointestinal viruses. I mean, from the time I was very, very young. <coughs> and so, it happened. I went to the hospital. I got some, um, I got a prescription and stuff like that. And so, I'm doing a lot better than I was. Because it was real ugly at one point. And, um... I guess I'm going to be ending the year with a whisper instead of a bang, but that's okay too, because I think, I think this is a lot truer to the actuality of my channel than, than anything else. But I wanted to come in and, um, just kind of, wow, wrap things up. This is crazy, y'all. It's, it's out of here in a matter of days. Um... I did end up going to the Wayside Christian Mission with my son, Shawnee, as y'all know. Um, shine time. Oh, Lord, I'll put the link below. You know, with the numbers, I can't do it. But um, he ended up meeting me there, and I had such an amazing experience working together with complete strangers who became instant friends. And um, in a couple of hours... We had fed between two different locations. All the cooking was done at our site. But in, I think, just over two and a half hours, we had managed to feed over 1,500 people. And I cannot explain to you the... You know, Oprah called it joy rising. And I get that. It was a bittersweet time. I guess it was a bittersweet moment for me. I don't know why, and even when I told Nina about it, she's like, well, why weren't you? But I wasn't expecting there to be children. And and that was, whew, that was rough. That was rough. It was one of those things where I just really, <laughs> I had to focus on the food. If I did not focus on the food, y'all know me, I would have been in a corner, in a fetal position, sobbing. But they were so happy and everybody you know it's amazing I'm trying not to get emotional here but it's amazing to me that you know when, when you think of people that are, are living with such you know within such a limited means to see the joy on their face to see how heartfelt they were in terms of their gratitude and to see them wish you a Merry Christmas with, I think, the most sincerity that any one person could ever muster up, it was and is a transcendently spiritual moment in my life. And I am so grateful to have had it. And I'm going back, y'all. I'm, I'm going back. This is not a one-time event for me. I am definitely going to um, make it a habit. Because, you know... Setting aside the sort of humanitarian aspect of it, I just have a blast. I had a really good time. And I met a new friend, y'all. He's very, very cool. <laughs> he makes me laugh. His name is Joshua. And that's his real name. And, um, and he's just funny. Oh, my God, he's so funny. And he lives in the men's shelter. And, um, yeah, it was just very, very nice. But, again, I wanted to come in. And I wanted to just... Y'all, we have had a heck of a year. I done took y'all from Boston to Louisville, Kentucky. Oh my God, one more word about because my son will beat me senseless if I don't talk about this one particular aspect of my day at the mission. I got in there and they put me right to work. Y'all should have seen your girl with the gloves and the hairnet. Like, 
the hairnet. Um, and I think I chopped about, I don't know, maybe 85 onions by myself and was crying like somebody had ran over my mother. I mean, sniffling tears. I haven't sniffled that much since the 90s, but that's another story altogether. Um, but the thing is, when we was done doing that, <laughs> yeah, you know you're in Kentucky. <laughs> when they put you <laughs> on chitlin duty, <laughs> yes, me and Shawnee <laughs> had to clean chitlins, which... <laughs> which neither one of us had ever done before. <laughs> I had gone outside, right? Me and Joshua had gone outside and we had had a cigarette and whatnot. And I came back in. And when, when Shawnee had first came in, because I came in first, Shawnee had came in about an hour and a half after I had arrived. Shawnee had seen the buckets of chitlins and he's like, oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. They're already cleaned. Oh, God, glory. Because if it's one thing I don't want to do, it's cleaning chitlins. So I come back from smoking my cigarette. <laughs> and Shawnee is up to his elbows in chitlins. I hear his voice in my head saying, Ma, it's not funny. But y'all, it was just... I just looked at him like, Oh, bendito. I just... You couldn't help it. So yeah, I, I cleaned me some chitlins, y'all. <laughs> it was a blast. It was just a blast. Um... But yeah, it, it has been an incredible year and I have learned a lot. I've learned about a lot about myself and the world around me. And I'm going to go into 2012 uh, taking those lessons with me. I have learned that um, it is an extreme act of bravery to stand up and speak. I've learned that it's also an extreme act of bravery to sit down and listen. Somebody said that. I'm going to remember who. I believe it was Winston Churchill. Um, I have learned that I really can stand on my own two feet and that I'm still learning to. Um, I learned that sometimes when, you know, they say be careful what you pray for and there's a reason for it. Um, and I, I've used my own, this past year, 2011 is the perfect example. I said that I wanted a renewed sense of independence. I said that I wanted to truly be on my own. And I prayed about that. And I said that I wanted to take this channel to a level that it hadn't gone before. And I had prayed about that. And God answered my prayer and took me all the way to Kentucky in order to bring that to fruition. So you gotta be watchful what you pray for. I'm not complaining, I don't regret but you do have to be watchful. Um, I'm going into 2012 ready to settle down, but not willing to settle. And um, I thank the Dating Dilemma series for teaching me that and continuing to teach me that. Um, I have learned that there are <sighs> extreme good people in this world. And I can thank, woo, all right. I can thank all of you for that. But I have to set aside a second to say that I'm free to be me eight. Yoga Angel seven. Uh, oh my goodness, Lord, Amaru. God Amaru, thank you. Um, this is where I might cry. I thank God for me 4,000 me. I'm just going to leave it there so I don't lose it. But I just, I thank God for me 4,000 me. I do. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you very much. Um, I thank God for sisters and the bond of sisterhood that I found in, I mean, it, it really, to say much love, it's, it's almost trite at this point. I don't know how I made it for the 30 years 
that I didn't have her. I honestly don't. Chanel. Chanel. I don't know how many lifetimes I've had previously with Chanel, but I thank God I found her in this one. Baby Tigga, God bless you. <laughs> I don't know. Did I pray to God? I said, Rachel, Yoga Angel 7, you're a godsend. Hair trends for you, Keisha. I'd go around the world twice to see your smile. I, I've just been so richly blessed with, with all of you. Love and light and disco and R&BB10. And, and, and there are so, oh my God, there are so many of you who, you know, I had no expectations when I started this channel. None. You know, I did it on the strength of, <laughs> I, I was getting threatened with bodily harm if I didn't start one. Um, I know that I've done this before and I really hope I'm not boring y'all. But you have to understand that I wake up thinking about this channel. I go to bed thinking about this channel. The hours, if y'all could take a walk inside my head, the hours that I spend constantly wondering how to better this channel, how to better serve y'all, and, and figuring out which news stories to bring to light and which to just leave the hell alone and what might make you laugh and what might make you think and what might make you spring into action, you, I, I really cannot impress upon you enough the effort that it's, it's a cyclical thing, you know? The, the feedback I receive from y'all is the recharge to the battery that I need to keep this going. You have to know how passionate I am about this. And I'm just praying that 2012... I am expecting that 2012 will take this to heights unthinkable, unimaginable, attainable, but unimaginable. I have had the kind of year that I, it's been a whirlwind. I'm astounded by what's happened. I really am. So in 2012, you can expect so much more from me, from this channel. I am working on some amazing collaborations that I'm super excited about, and we're going to bring it to y'all. Um, and, and there's just going to be a lot more interaction, a lot more introspection, education, entertainment. I mean, y'all know what it is here. Um... I've been very blessed to be able to gain the support I have from all of you without fitting cleanly into a box, you know? I'm not quite, you know, news, and I'm not quite beauty, and I'm not quite <laughs> wigs, and I'm, I'm not quite much of anything. I'm, I'm just Jahira's mission. And if the you know, my godfather would, <laughs> this is my godfather's voice, y'all. Girl, you have 17 minute long videos. But if, <laughs> if the time that it takes you to watch these videos transports you into a place where you get a little bit, a little bit of a break from your day, or you get a sense of urgency, or you get a smile, or you get a tear, or you get a rolling of your eyes from more of my crazy dating antics and whatnot. <laughs> or if you even just laugh in, in that internal place where it doesn't quite come out of your mouth, but your head registers it as funny. All of this was worth it. All of it. I cannot call this a hobby any longer. Because this is the activation of what I know to be my destiny. This is the manifestation of what I truly believe to be the purpose for my life. Not, you know, we're, we're so quick to throw titles on and sort of act within that purpose. You know, the title of mother, the title of sister, the title of friend or daughter or son or husband, you know. But when it comes down to who are you, this is who I am. 
this is bar none the most accurate depiction of who I am. And I want to live in that space, in this presence, always, always, always. So I'm not going to keep y'all any longer. This is the last video of 2011. Wow. Thank you all. Thank you. Being who you have been has allowed me to be who I am. And I could not ask for anything greater than that. I pray God's blessings over each and every single one of you. And may 2012 bring you purpose and prosperity and health and love and laughter and life in abundance. May it fall upon all of your houses like rain, I pray. I love you. I love you. I love you more than words will ever be able to convey. And we are going to make it happen in 2012. Make no mistake about it. <sighs> Happy New Year, YouTube. One love.